How do you fix a problem like Roadhog? So, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do in this video is take a detailed look at Roadhog and how they could possibly look at fixing what is possibly the worst tank hero in the game. Now, take a look at this. This is from AlphaCast. He's a good friend of mine. Um, it, it shows you one of the problems with the hook. You'll notice that when he pulled the Widowmaker, she didn't actually get pulled down to him because of the... The breakable barriers didn't actually break as you pulled her through, which you would expect they would, and instead you just slid across the barriers. Highly frustrating. A lot of things like that go on with Roadhog, and it is, well, like I just said, highly frustrating. However, I think to understand Roadhog, we need to go back in time. We need to look at Roadhog, how he was, how he used to be played. Roadhog was extremely good at killing other tanks and other heroes. He was very survivable, and he had what, what is basically known as very good pick potential. Now, what I mean by that is he can hook people and kill them. He could kill somebody. It's like Hanzo. It's like Widowmaker now. They've got very good pick potential. The best thing you can do in Overwatch is kill the enemy. So at the start of a fight, if you kill one of the enemies straight away, it's a 5v6. That means your team are probably going to win unless somebody on the enemy team is going to pop off or they've got ultimates they can use to try and counteract what you've just done. And like I said, this is why Hanzo's strong. This is why Widowmaker is strong because they can just kill you really fast. It's why heroes like Soldier 76 are maybe not as strong as other DPS heroes, like maybe a, uh, a Doomfist would be a good hero for this because Soldier 76 needs to consistently fire at targets to kill them. So let's take a look at Roadhog and let's take a look at like the pros and cons of the hero that we've got right now. So he, he's not a tank, is he? He's in the tank category, but he doesn't really absorb damage to protect the team. His whole purpose is to punish people who are out of position with the hook, and then the rest of your team can follow through and kill them. Okay? He only absorbs damage with his body, so he doesn't have a barrier, he doesn't have a defense matrix, he doesn't have any kind of ability where he can protect allies from damage. It's all about protecting himself from damage, or just putting his body in the way, which happens sometimes, and Roadhog is a big target, right? But that also means he's a big, well, ultimate battery for the enemy team. So, he used to be a really good tank buster, but he no longer is, and that's kind of fair given the recent changes to him, where they increased his uh, weapon fire speed to give him an extra shot. And all these, like, Roadhog has been through loads and loads of changes throughout his lifetime. The hook has been completely redone, I don't even know how many times. Um, but anyway, let's just go back to the list. So, uh, he used to have really good pick potential. Now, not so much, but you can still kill the squishy targets like really quite easily. There are heroes like D.Va and heroes like Hammond that you would think on paper Roadhog is really effective against because if Hammond rolls in, you can hook him in and do damage to him. The thing is with Hammond, Hammond's headshot hitbox is so small that Roadhog doesn't really do that much damage to him. There you go. Great timing there. So I pulled him in. I'm doing damage to him. Look, look, but he, he's actually got away. So... He gets away a lot of the time. It's very difficult to actually kill Hammond um, with Hog, where you would think it would be like a hard counter, but it's actually not. The same applies to D.Va. You pull D.Va in and you fire at D.Va, and you don't really do a lot of damage to D.Va. Um, she generally just boosts away or she defense matrix in your face. There's a lot of things D.Va can do, so you don't actually really punish D.Va that hard, when in theory, you probably should, right? If anybody should be countering um, D.Va and uh, Hammond and even Doomfist, it surely should be Roadhog, right? But actually, Sombra is a better counter to all of them than Roadhog. Anyway, let's move on. So, what he's kind of okay at is ripping down barriers. He's very good at burning barriers down. Now, of course, this was changed because they added damage fall off to his alternate fire, which wasn't great, but there's also changes going through to deal with that and, and increase his effective range of that. So the drop off range is not as bad as it was. So hopefully this counteracts the, the fact he's got damage fall off and he'll still be able to do something against barriers. So that's kind of like that, that was his thing. Like he, he burnt barriers down, but kind of not really any longer, although he'll still be kind of okay against it. Now, going back to the idea of him being a large ultimate battery, I mean, yeah, sure, but also he's very survivable on his own. When you look at the other tanks in the cast, Roadhog is the most survivable hero, not, not even just out of the tanks, like, he is the most survivable hero. He can take the most punishment, he can heal himself, he can run away, you know, when they made the change to take a breather so that he could move while using it, that made him feel much better to play. It's much like um, the five shots and the faster weapon speed that he's got with his primary fire or his secondary fire. It feels much nicer. The old Roadhog was much slower, but did more damage, you see, so it was much more deadly. When he did hit you, it was just straight up more damage. So, let's take a look at Hog and realize this one thing. 
he kind of poses very little danger to the enemy team. When you see a Roadhog, you're like, oh, it's a hog, right? You just kind of shoot the hog, play around the hog. You're not really like, oh my god, it's a Roadhog. In the past, Roadhog would kill you. If he hooked you, you're dead, right? You're absolutely dead. Now, he can still do that now, don't get me wrong, but you would be very wary of Roadhog because he could hook people, do massive damage to them and kill them. He could hook tanks. He could just run up to tanks and delete them. Tanks would have to be really wary of him. Uh, Reinhardt couldn't really do anything around Roadhog because Roadhog was going to shut him down. Diva would get smashed by Roadhog. This doesn't happen anymore. So I guess the big question is, how do you fix Roadhog? I've literally just sat here for five minutes and explained what Roadhog is and what he does and how he fits into the game. In fact, one last thing I want to talk about is Roadhog, um, in this current meta, it's very fast. Um, Roadhog is not fast. And Roadhog really has to play around barriers because, he, you know, you can't hook through a barrier. He can't burn a barrier down instantly. So he needs to get through the barriers. This means that Roadhog is in a really niche position where he's only really going to be effective against certain team comps on certain maps. So this makes his perceived like lack of use even like it amplifies that even more because a lot of things are working against him but that's still to be said that or it still even is to be said if i can get my words out ladies and gentlemen that he really still does need looking at so how do you fix this roadhog now i spoke to smex now smex plays for the nrg academy team i believe um which i think is san francisco shock right if my memory serves right so he plays for their academy team uh however Smex is one of the best Roadhog players in the world. Um, he was rank one. Well, he's, he's consistently rank one on the ladder. Every now and then, well, when he plays ladder anyway, he'll get to rank one quite easily. Plays a lot of Roadhog, extremely good with Roadhog. And I asked him, I said, you know, Smex, what would you do to Roadhog? Like, how would you fix this hero? Um, because it's okay me saying, oh, I think this needs to be done. But what about the absolute best player or players in the game or one of the best players um, for that hero? And like, he, he basically said to me, like, the problem is, he kind of doesn't really have much of a use and he would like it if he was more effective against tanks but somehow was less effective against squishy targets now this kind of goes back to if we look at roadhog as a whole you do not want a hero in the game that can just kill everything if he hooks you and, and, and that just means you're dead that doesn't feel great does it we always go back to this thing where overwatch is supposed to have the triangle of balance or maybe not so much the triangle of balance but it needs to feel good for the person being killed as well as the person doing the killing. And if Rodon hooks you um, from around the corner, which used to happen in the past, drags you towards him, you knew you were dead. It, that felt really terrible. We made videos at the time. We're like, well, look, this is just the worst thing ever. Roadhog gets us and he kills us. We, we feel terrible. This is not great game design. This hero feels terrible. Get it out of the game. So we get to this modern hog now, which when he hooks you, you don't actually feel like I'm dead. There are options to get out of it. So there is counterplay there. And that's one of the reasons why Hog was changed to be how he is right now, right? Because you don't want it to be a death sentence. But on the other hand, what should Roadhog do? Like, what should be his... his uh, Like, what's his function, right? Should he be killing tanks? Should he be killing squishy targets? If you make him kill tanks, how can you not make him kill squishy targets? Well, I think one of the answers to this is to increase the weapon spread of Roadhog's primary fire. So... This would mean, like, so the example here, trying to kill this diva, she's she's kind of slippery, right? You can't really just kill her with primary fire because you're not going to hit her with all the pellets. Now, imagine if the spread was wider. Then imagine pulling in a diva or pulling in a Hammond. When you fire, you're going to still hit him and do damage to him, right? Still going to be decent damage, but it's going to be less damage to a tracer that you pull in because less of the pellets will hit the tracer. But more of them would hit the larger targets, yeah? Maybe you could do something with pellet density as well. Like, I mean, I'm not a game designer, guys. I'm just trying to put ideas forward here to make it more effective. The hero you see me attacking here, which is the D.Va, is really, really effective. Like, you see that there? I hooked her in, she just turned away and walked off. Now, I ran out of ammo, so there wasn't really much I could do there. Also, she was getting backed up by her team. So you would expect to survive in that scenario. However... Um, she is an effective hero. So when you make changes to Overwatch heroes, it can affect other heroes in the game. So if Roadhog suddenly become really good at destroying tanks, that would mean that you couldn't really run a D.Va if there was a Roadhog on the field or a Hammond because Roadhog would hook those two in and just delete them. Whereas a Reinhardt or an Orissa, they could use their barrier to play around it. A Zarya could use her barrier as well. So I think there is still a niche that needs to be carved out for Roadhog. And how do you fix the Hog problem? What do you do to him? I think my potential solution of increasing weapon spread to make it more effective against tanks, but less effective against squishy targets could be one option. I still feel like he just doesn't 
He's he, he's in the tank category, but he's not really a tank. Like, Hog is a DPS hero. We all know when we, we go right back in Overwatch's history, Hog was being played how the devs didn't really expect Hog to be played. He was supposed to be the hero that punishes really bad positioning. So if you're out of position, he hooks you into the team and then your team kill them. What was actually happening is Hulk was going off on solo flanks, hooking everybody and killing them. You see there, we just killed Doomfist. That is an example of Doomfist going in too deep. I've got the hook on him, pulled him towards me. Trace has actually got the killing blow, but we've both attacked him and killed him. That's kind of ideal use for Hog, or at least what the devs were expecting. But what happened back in the day is Hog would just flank, kill people over and over again. It was quite, it was like really frustrating. That's not what the hero should be. My biggest issue is I just don't feel like Roadhog has a purpose. Like there's not like a Roadhog comp or there's not like, yeah, we need a hog. You don't really see anybody ever say that because he doesn't really counter anything. He doesn't really offer the, let's say, damage that other heroes do. He doesn't offer the protection other heroes do. So he's in this really weird place. It's almost like he's got an outdated kit. It's almost like Roadhog could possibly be a hero that is looked at for a, a redesign in a way. Now, we know that the way Blizzard look for hero reworks and, and redesigns is they'll look at player usage statistics, they'll look at what they think, and they'll look at community feedback. Hog, to me, just feels quite ineffective, but he might be getting played by a lot of heroes. You can see in the, the two games that I showed you guys in the background, I've still got gold damage. I, I've still got, like, silver limbs. I'm still effective because the enemy team are letting me be effective. This is quick play, so it's obviously not a competitive game. In a comp game, it would be more difficult to make him work. That's not to say that he wouldn't work because Roadhog can work. Like a lot of the heroes can work in a lot of situations. Um, but it's just when you look at effectiveness of heroes stacked up against other heroes in their categories, I think Roadhog is lacking. Uh, and I'd like it if there were some changes that were made towards him. If you guys play Roadhog, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. This is a bit of a different style of video. Like, what I'm trying to do with my videos now is, I think um, it would be kind of like... It's not like I want to change the style of the videos, but I want to be more sort of... Um, I guess less hyper, because <laughs> you know I'm a very hyper and very happy person. But every video, it can be a bit too much, right, guys? I don't know. You guys let me know about that in the comments below. Roadhog needs fixing. Roadhog needs something. Let's see what Blizzard do. We know we're getting a PTR patch fairly soon. Maybe they'll do something to Hog then. Who knows? Guys, I've been Stylosa, and this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.